Oh, he was at the top. Jackie was at the top. It, he and his crazy brother, Roughhouse, uh, they had this crazy thing with Roughhouse where they'd have to go check Roughhouse out of Bolivar because he was insane. And his old chick, when he would get out there, he would run around the ring and hit everybody from the referee to, to, to anybody. Uh, if somebody walked up by the crowd, he'd hit them. But he was supposed to be nuts. And he was a little guy. He wasn't as big as Fargo, but he was, a, he was like a little dynamo, a little whirling dervish, uh, your Tasmanian devil. Uh, and that was his chick. And, of course, every once in a while, somebody would get their hand, they'd beat him up, and Fargo would save him or... But no, Jackie Fargo was at the top. He was absolutely at the top. Uh, because at, that, at, at the time Fargo was at the top, a lot of the wrestlers were those big bull-like guys like Don and Al Green. And you would have to think that somebody would have to match them in stature and size to be able to stay in the ring with them. Because those guys would be hitting you like hitting you with a ham. You know, <laughs> they had fists that looked like hams. And Fargo... The thing about Fargo was, is he was like, uh, he was a successful talker also. He could get sympathy. Uh, and and inevitably, the bad guy would say something about Fargo's mama, and that was the end of it. You better not say something about Fargo's mama.